What's up, Future Fire? Zach Zach here. We got a deck profile for you guys. This deck profile is for Star Dragon World. Um, I don't know if it's a cross nice, hybrid ish kind of deck where it focuses on some of the, the draw mechanics that Star Dragon introduced. Uh, first up is the buddy, the buddy rare, Star Guardian Jackknife. He is a call cost of pay one gauge. When this card enters the field, put up to one monster from your drop zone to this card's soul. This works well with some of the cross nizing aspects of Star Dragon World, where you can automatically get a card with some kind of ability. First up, we'll start with the threes, though, is, of course, Omni Lord Tenmu, 5th Omni Lord Tenmu. He's a 636 size 3 Omni Lord, so you can play one copy of him in this deck. And he blows up the field, so pay two gauge. When this card enters the field, destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. Pretty good. Then we have our buddy at four, Star Guardian Jackknife. Then we have one copy of a, the first cross knife we'll see. It is a size two, four, two, five. If this card is in the soul of a Neo Dragon, that Neo Dragon gets plus two power and a plus one critical. Cross knives. Uh, cross knives is put this card from your field into the soul of a Neo Dragon on your field. So this allows you, if you play this and you have, I guess, this, him being a size two, though, you can play it. Put him in the soul of any Neo Dragon and it'll gain this ability. Next, we move on to the first of the kind of gimmicky thing that we're doing here is uh, Vert Deuce Matrix. He is a 527 size 2. This card can only be called to the center. At the end of your turn, if you have Azul Tes Tesla Manga or Magna on your field, draw a card. Is he a 627? Yeah, he is a 627. Then the card that we just mentioned in the, in the effect is uh, Azul Tesla Magna. Magna, he's a 515 size 1. This card can only be called to the right. At the end of your turn, if you have a, a Brune Death Akizan on your field, draw a card. And of course, we have the card we just mentioned Brune Deuce Akizan 313 size 0. So you can play all three on the field at the same time. This card can only be called on the left. So you have left, right, center. And basically, what it turns out is if you play any two of these cards on your field at one time, you get to draw one card during your end step. But if you have all three, you get to draw three cards. That's kind of a crazy amount of bonus for this deck. Next, uh, we have another Cross Nizer. Uh, he's a size one, four, two, one. Uh, this card is in the soul of a Neo Dragon. That Neo Dragon gets moved. Pretty helpful, especially when you have cards like Jack, who's already got Soul Guard from his ability. And you can add this to cross knives or with his ability to pit, put it in the soul already. So you can have your jackknife get moved pretty easily. We play this at three copies. Next, the card we play at three, another card we play at three copies is Dragon Arms Cavalier. He is a 4 2 1 as well, size 1. If this card is in the soul of a, a Neo Dragon, that Neo Dragon gets penetrated. Um, very useful with Jack, especially with having the three crit. You could also put it in the things that don't have Soul Guard and they still get their abilities. Next, the copy uh, cross knives we play at two copies. Dragon Arms Winch Winchisker, whatever. He's at three, two, one, size one. This card is in the soul of your Neo Dragon. When that Neo Dragon deals damage to your opponent, destroy an item on your opponent's field. Some sufficient item hate with Star Dragon World. Then, lastly, for the cross knives, we have a size zero, two, one, two. Dragon Arms. Artilliger, Artilliger. If this card is in the soul of your Neo Dragon, nullify all, all abilities of a, of an originally sized two or less monster as in battle with the Neo Dragon. This ability cannot be nullified. So it's kind of probably in the future this card could go up in copies just because it'll help to negate the soul guard of size two monsters on your opponent's side of the field, allowing you to just kind of stop it. It also works defensively too with. Things like double attack and whatnot, penetrate, especially penetrate. We'll move on to the spells. Now, first, we play four copies of Sudden Wormhole. Sudden Wormhole is call cost or cast cost of one. You can use one of the following abilities: call size two less mo two or less monster from your drop zone by paying its call cost. So you can pick up Jack or any of the the draw combo, or counter call. Call a size 1 monster from your hand by paying its cast cost. So if you're trying to, say your opponent removes one of your size 0 or 1 and you want to still try and draw the 3 cards, you can cast this to get that missing piece back on the field during your end step. Then we play 4 copies of the Drago Energy Clone. 
uh, Speculite Ring. It is plus 3 plus 3 to a Neo Dragon on the field and counter attack. Uh, pretty useful, especially with Star Dragon World being that they play a lot of stuff in the center. You don't have a lot of weapons, but you do have the ability to move in some, some aspects. Next we move on to some of the shields. We play three Earth Barriers. Earth Barriers, you may only cast this card if you are being attacked, so you cannot protect your monsters with the shields in this world, unfortunately. But, you can counter to nullify the attack and gain a life, so that means if they're, I don't know, they're shadow diving you for damage, you can potentially nullify the damage if you so choose. Uh, then we play the blue shield equivalent, which is, you may only cast this if you are being attacked again. You can nullify the attack and get one gauge. Play both of those at three each. Next is the, the, the draw spell for Star Dragons, Dragon Arms Factory. The cast cost is discarding a Dragon Arms from your hand, so it's not... It's pretty good to get those in the draw zone because Jack can pick them up quite easily. And it's to draw two cards if you do. Play that three copies. Next we have two copies of the uh, uh, size, well, I guess not really size one rule, but it's a removal is cast cost. Pay one gauge or so destroy a defense 3,000 or less monster on your opponent's side of the field. That's pretty re relevant. There's a lot of monsters that this can get rid of. Including Dungeon World that has a lot of stuff that is within that range. Next we have two copies of the spell negate, Shining Rain. You may only cast this card when your opponent casts a spell during his or her turn. Pay one gauge, pay one life, nullify the spell cast by your opponent. Pretty clutch. There's a lot of spells. I know Legend World has a lot of stuff where they do it during their own turn. There's a lot of spells like Continue or Hot Springs or Mission Cards from Dungeon World, Grim Wars from Dragon World. There's a lot of stuff that this card can stop, and it's pretty useful to play at even two and then two in the sideboard. Uh, the last spells we round out is one copy of Buddy Recall. Oh. Put a buddy, uh, Neo Dragon Buddy Monster from your drop zone into your hand. You may only cast Buddy Recall once per turn. Um, if he, I mean, it's a reason to get dra uh, uh, Jack back from the de uh, the graveyard. I mean, Sudden Wormhole also does the same thing, basically. It, it's iffy. It, it is also free, though. Next, we have one copy of the Grimoire. Uh, you p can play this if you have five or less life. Discard your hand, draw three cards. So, uh, just one copy. It feels right right now. And then last but not least, we play one copy of the spell. We do have cross nice movers that allow us to get away with being able to play a, a weapon if we so choose, but it's also there because it's equip cost of one gauge, and when you equip it, you just gain a life. So, I mean, extra life gain is pretty useful. Um, that's the Star Dragon World deck profile. Uh, Star Dragon World has a lot of stuff, especially with just having the one set and a trial deck to support it. Um, the cross knives aspect seems really good. They have some other monsters not even in this deck that are big, have triple attack, for example, for 5 gauge, 5 gauge, yes, 5. But uh, look forward to future updates to this deck profile. Uh, this deck seems pretty good to me. I mean, this combo right here to draw 3 cards is really upsetting. Especially with the size 2, that card that goes to the center having 7 defense. It's really hard to get around that. I mean, if he had Soul Guard, I couldn't even imagine. But that's the deck profile. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below if you guys have questions, if you have opinions, you have cards you like using a Star Dragon World, let me know. And, as always, thanks for watching.